U.S. Open 2009. It's U.S. Open 2009. Mr. Midnight, instrumental. Del Potro match during the second set. It's kind of crazy right now because it's in the middle of the day and night session. So everybody's trying to get to their seat. Everybody's trying to get to the match they want to get to. Everybody's going to get their food, trying not to bump into each other. So yeah, excuse me if it's a little shaky right now. serving of course right now when I say that, right? But uh serve it and then you see right up here. Sixty five. And I bet you guys can do better than that. Maybe twice or double or triple that. I wouldn't do that right now and show you my A rod serve, my one thirty five, but I let them do it right now. Let's go over here and see what this is over here by American Express. Over here. Here we go. As you can see, there's actually a green screen behind that man right there, and he's, it's called American Express Challenger Pro, and he sees the pro in his view, in his eye, so he's actually on the court feeling all the pressure, all the tremendous pace, kind of, that a real pro, high level pro would on the real court, so this is done by American Express, um, again, I would do it right now, but I'm shooting a tour, so I can't... This is called Survivor Returns, and let's just take a look at it. Little man's about to smack one. Whoa! Here we go, here we go. Here comes Agassi. Pretty fun stuff. I have no idea what this is here. I can't explain it. 
I don't know why he's at a tennis tournament. That's just one of those things, I guess, for kids to do. You know, it beats me. So, let's go over here at the training zone, and let's see what they're doing over here. coming at rapid speed, kind of like when you're playing mini tennis up at the net. You know, you have to have your hand-eye coordination, you have to have your preparation, uh, your racketing, your ready position, uh, and ready for a ball to come back always. You know, you never want to take it for granted that you hit a shot and it's not coming back. And this is a great game to be able to do that. It's the training zone. All of these games here are really the uh, training zone here. We actually have the quick start play tennis over here, let's look and see what's going on over here. We have uh, an all-star in the making. He must be about four or five years old. He's already getting his experience in. So when he comes to the U.S. Open in 2027, you know, he'll be ready. behind the camera now, just kind of moving a little bit more fast-paced. This is more aim, more target practice, literally. We use that term a little lightly sometimes, but this is actually good for when you're hitting for specific targets on the court, whether it be center, whether it be cross-court down the line, whether you have spin on it, back to top. You know, it's really good for uh, really getting your ball to go where your ideal target is, where you're ideally trying to hit the ball. Because let's face it, if you're hitting the ball and trying to hit it cross court and it ends up going down the line, or you're trying to hit it, you know, out wide and it goes more towards the center, you're not able to execute your game plan as precisely as possible, or as accurately as possible, and you don't get as much out of it. I can say 